Hey up, I'll do. Right, what have we got today? Well, today we've got a Gordon Smith. Uh, it's a guitar that I had asked them to make for me. Um, and I actually received this guitar uh, last, just before last Christmas, 2019. Um, and, oh, hold on a minute. I need to reminisce about 2019. Man, that was a good year compared to this one. Because this is shit, baby. Okay. So, uh, this is the guitar that I asked them to make. It's a T-style guitar. They call it a classic T. But the spec is pretty much all my own. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the guitar. Give that a quick once over. And then I'll tell you all about it. <coughs> so... I had seen a Fender original in like a metallic blue um, and I think they call that the Lake Placid actually, I think that's the Lake Placid blue and it had white binding, double binding like this one um, but there are things about the Fender original series Telecaster that I wasn't keen on although I liked the, uh, <coughs> I liked the paint job <coughs> excuse me, and I liked, obviously I liked the T-style guitar, it's my favourite style um, I like the double binding. So I'd seen a guy called Richard and he has a YouTube channel and a shop and, and it's Richard's Guitars. And he was banging on about Gordon Smith constantly. You know, you can get top quality uh, and you can get it made in this country for less than what you'd pay Fender. So this is like a Gordon Smith custom shop job basically and it's much less than what you'd pay Fender. So I watched a few of these videos, I looked at some of the guitars and I thought, do you know what, um, I'll give this a go. So I got in touch with Gordon Smith Guitars. They were fantastic right from the get-go, really good, uh, very helpful, very pleasant to deal with. And we had this back and forth dialogue going via telephone and email. And this is what I came up with. So as I said, it's a classic T. Uh, their take on a Telecaster. Um, we have uh, metallic blue with cream binding, which is double binding, a cream pick guard, two coil splittable humbuckers. The body for this is poplar. <coughs> I could have gone with <coughs> ash or swamp ash, but I thought. What is the point, really? I'm covering the, the wood. You won't be able to see the grain. So the poplar was the cheapest option. <clears throat> uh, got locking strap buttons as well. These pickups are what they call home wound, which basically means that they are the Gordon Smith proprietary pickups designed by them. And um, they sound very nice. The uh, You've got three-way selector which works as a typical telly does volume and tone and of course the coil split is there now the coil split that's for the neck that's for the bridge <coughs> the tremolo is one that i had to order um gordon smith could have provided me with the tremolo but I went with um, one that uh, I asked them to fit, that I ordered in. And this is a hip shot tuner, sorry, hip shot, not tuner, hip shot bridge, sorry, tremolo bridge. And it's honestly the best playing bridge I've ever played, Trem you know, the best style tremolo that I've, that I've played personally. Uh, now the one on my SE is good and the one on my CE is good. They're basically the same thing. But this one, as far as I'm concerned, beats it hands down. I, only got, I did ask them to, I did ask them, Gordon Smith, that is, to set it floating, but they, they didn't. But anyway, it only goes one way, which is down, and it. But it is easily, it's easily the smoothest. You know, the best one I've ever had, best one I've tried. The neck is maple, obviously, and it's a bolt-on, obviously. Um, the fretboard is maple. The truss rod adjustment is here. The frets are nickel, 
and I believe they are medium jumbo. Uh, I had asked for the dot inlays to be like a perloid type thing and they sent them with these black markers instead. Now when I contacted Gordon Smith they said send the guitar back and we'll change it. But to be honest once I had the guitar I didn't really want to do that. Um, so I just said okay that's fine it's not the end of the world but these were meant to be like a perloid. Um, we have a uh, brass nut which is a Gordon Smith sort of thing really and we have on the back you'll see it's got lock-in tuners let me turn it around this way and it says handcrafted in the UK so there you go now those tuners like I said they're locking tuners and Gordon Smith say they are Goto although they are not branded as such on the on here anywhere um, and then you've got the uh, string trees which are the really nice quality ones can you see those they're very nice um, the neck is <coughs> a C shape I believe and the radius is 12 inch smooth finish on the back of the neck satin feels fantastic the frets are really well done hopefully you can see that as good as my PRS CE probably uh, is that true um, not far off it I'd say I'd say the CE edges it slightly to be honest for the fret job but this is still very 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 good I mean you'd have no complaints at all I'm really nitpicking um, so that's it let's give it a few tones we're going to start with like a bit of a dirty crunch sound lead tone I'll go through the pickups and the split positions and the tremolo <laughs> Let's bridge, let's split it. Let's go to the neck. Let's split that. Try the middle. See how we're doing for time here. Oh, we're on eight minutes, okay. Let's try some crunch tones. Here we go on the bridge. Nice clarity of notes, note separation. Obviously the neck muddies it up a little bit. Let's split that, see what we get. And it cleans it up a little bit. Let's go middle. Let's 
clean setting. I'll take the uh, take the um, sort of glue driver thing off. Let's see, do we have any volume in this thing? Where are we? There we are. So let's go back to the neck. <laughs> still in tune. Do me chord. Okay, so anyway that's the guitar that I asked them to make. I just wanted something a little bit different and you don't see many T-style guitars with a trem. I know you do see them, I'm sure you do, but um, they're not that common, even so, I'd say, you know, even though you, you do see them around, I'd say they're still not that common. Um, and this is really well built, really well constructed. Um, it's just fantastic. You've got the nice little back plate there. So well built, really good uh, firm to deal with, Gordon Smith. Can very highly rate them. Um, I'd say the website needs updating slightly, but you know that's fine. You can still manoeuvre within the um, within the website that they have and the menus and that. And they were a real pleasure to deal with. The guys there, very professional, very friendly, very approachable. Anything you ask them for, they will um, try their best to accommodate. And you know, and you get a choice of um, you get a choice of a gig bag. Or a hard case, you pay extra for the hard case. I'll just quickly show you that bad boy. <coughs> There's your case, fluffy on the inside. Uh, so that's the Gordon Smith Classic T, uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. Hope you're all staying safe, looking after each other, and all that fine stuff. And until next time, peace people. Peace and love, baby. <laughs>